there are very few uh, voice actors uh, in Texas that are, that's strictly all they do. Um, like I said, I mean, me, I do all kinds of voiceover. It's not just anime. I do commercials and industrial videos and narrations and a um, uh, little producing for videos, you know, non-anime stuff. But, uh, yeah, a lot of people will just, um, you know, especially when it first started out, you know, there were just not, I used to teach a class on how to be a voice actor. And uh, I would get people in the booth, you know, and they go, okay, now you're going to watch the video. And when you hear the Japanese, that's when you start talking. And here's your line. You just do them one line at a time. Here's your line. And just say the line. Don't worry if it fits. Don't worry if it matches. You just say the line when you hear the Japanese. Like, okay, I can do that. That's easy. Yeah, here we go. And we're rolling. <laughs> Japanese would start. <laughs> Okay, that was okay, but you need to actually say the line. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I didn't get it. Okay, all right, let's try it again. Okay, here we go, man, rolling. <laughs> okay, again, you need to say the line. Oh, right there, oh, okay, so, you know, it, it, uh, it, it's not as easy as people think it is, too, you know, so, but it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. All right, thank you, good night. <laughs> yeah. Do you prefer directing or voice acting? Like, if you could choose to direct or to um, voice act, what would you choose? I would act. Um, <clears throat> although, it's kind of a trick question because acting pays better per hour, but you direct more hours than you would act. So when I directed, I didn't make as much money, but I was directing eight hours a day. I don't voice, you know, seven days or six, five days a week. So, um, but they're both fun. But really, voice acting is the is really what I enjoy the most because you get to do, you get to have so much fun with your voice, and um, you don't have to shower before you go in. You can, because you're in a booth, you can stink all you want. <laughs> you don't have to shave. Or like that, so, um, but I love both. But acting, the voice acting, I would have to say, I prefer. Not nearly enough. <laughs> no, it, it's a it's a good wage. I mean, it's a livable wage, but I and, you know I don't have billions of dollars. <laughs> yes. How do you prep for a role? How do I prep for a role? I drive four hours up to Funimation, <laughs> walk in and go, "What do you want me to do?" Um, you know, when you first start doing a role. Um, <clears throat> probably audition for it, number one, so you have some idea of the voice, and um, uh, if you have a good director, which I usually do, they'll give you lots of uh, information, a little bit of background, that kind of thing about the character, the storyline, the story arcs, your relationship to other characters, so, you know, hopefully we've, we've done our research, and you can find a lot of it online, too, I mean, you know, the information's out there, but, <coughs> pardon me, um, and then the main thing is, the first thing we'll do is we'll work on the voice. So like, for instance, when, we, when I did um, Lord Death in Soul Eater, uh, uh, Zach Bolton, who's the director, uh, auditioned for me for that role. And he said, you know, I have you in mind for this role. I think it'd be really funny. And of course, I looked at Lord Death, and I, my thought was, you know, his name is Lord Death. He's got this, you know, skeleton head. So maybe he should be sort of evil like this. I'm like, no, I think he should be. And this is Zach. He's like, no, he's really, he's really funny. He should be funny, you know, kind of. So we started working on the voice, and it came out to this, you know, <clears throat> frog in my throat. He's like, all right, well, how about like this? Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, how splendid, you know, <laughs> more like that. And they were like, ooh, that's good. Yeah, do that, do that. And so we started doing it. Well, we worked on the thing for about thirty minutes. <clears throat> kind of really developing the voice. And by the time 30 minutes had gone by, we had really nailed and honed in on the voice. We actually went back and re-recorded the first part that we had just done it's because we had gotten really into the voice. So uh, that's kind of how we, we prepped for it and got there. So. But a lot of, you know, these roles are already done. Um, one thing that uh, you all may not know, or maybe you do know, is, you know, we're, we're just replacing the dialogue with English. But the character has already been established by the Japanese actor, so we try to stay as true to that as we possibly can. 
you know, if they're yelling something or they're angry, we're not going to be happy. You know, we would be kind of mimic what they're doing a little bit. So, anyone? Yeah. I'm sorry. Say again. Um, I have enjoyed all of them. Uh, the characters I enjoy the most are the ones that I get to play around with my voice more. Um, there was a show, I don't know if you've ever heard of a show called The Legend of Moby Dick. Yeah. It's a kind of a space version of Moby Dick. And I got to play Captain Ahab, who's the, the main character. And uh, it was fun because he was a pirate, so he, I got to use my pirate voice. <laughs> like, ah, he's just blue, that sucks. You know, and, and that kind of thing. So that was a lot of fun. And then uh, the hardest thing to do, though, is uh, is a character that um, uh, either screams a lot, or I, I was just thinking about this on the walk over from the hotel. You know, <clears throat> one of the hardest things I think I have to do is do an accent, and uh, because you want to be as authentic as possible, you know. And uh, if they say, well, you know, do an English accent, your character is English, you're like, all right, well, I'll give it a go, and you do it, and, you know, we think we sound great. But I had a friend from England who was over one time, and he was like, really, you're going to do an English, let me hear your English accent. I was like, well, all right, well, let's give something like this. And he's like, really, well, that, that rather sucks. <laughs> <laughs> do okay, well. Song. How would you do it? He's like, well, I do it like this. And I was like, all right. So I tried to, I mimicked what he did. He goes, no, nope, you're still way off. And I was like, well, dude, it sounds the same to me. He goes, that's because you don't, you can't, you know, you're an American and you're an idiot. So, <laughs> you know, we think we can do any voice and, you know, we can't. I mean, if you were going to do a, really, if, if you were going to have somebody that needed an accent, you would ideally hire, you know, if you need somebody with an Italian accent, hire an Italian because they've got the most authentic accent. Anyway, roundabout way. Uh, yeah, I'll get to you in just a second. Yeah. What was it like to transition from essentially a very minor role to another major role in the Going from Asuka to Venom? The couldn't hear. What was it like to transition from a minor role to a major role? Um, it was pleasurable <laughs> because the check was far larger on the big role. Uh, you know, it. it, it um, it, it's it's really nicer um, because you're doing the you're doing a character and you can kind of stay in that vein of that character. Good night. Uh, you can stay in that vein of the character and not jump around to different voices um, and that type of thing. So uh, um, it, it's I think it's a little easier than doing a lot of smaller roles because in the smaller roles you're having to do different voices and different characters and um, jumping around very schizophrenic like, but with a more major role, you're just kind of honed in on that one, one character. So, and Gendo was another uh, Darren-esque type uh, deal. Tristan McCaffrey actually did the original Gendo, and then uh, he got fired from ADV because he's a loon. <laughs> <laughs> a common problem in the anime industry. Yeah, but uh, so anyway, uh, they called me in again and said, "Hey, could you do this?" And they actually asked me to sound like the original actor, and the same with Hohenheim with uh, Scott McNeil. They wanted me to be as close to that as possible. But, uh, you had a question over here? Um, um, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear. Um, no, not really. Uh, uh, sometimes, um, if you do, like in Funimation, I'll do, uh, go up and do several different shows. And uh, if I'm working on one show, um, like uh, Sergeant Frog, and I play uh, this guy named, uh, I, play? I can't remember his <laughs> well, He's a minor character, he's not a big character. But anyway, he talks, his voice is like, he goes, uh, he's, he's, he does a lot of this type of stuff, and he's like, ha ha, I will go there now! Stupid inflection, you know, it's all off, and we have a lot of fun with that. But uh, if I do a lot of that, and then I'll go in to do Lord Death, when I was doing Lord Death, um, or working on Shin Chan, uh, you know, I'll start doing the voice, and they'll, they'll go, eh, you're not really in the 
right voice, you know, so we have to kind of work to get back to it, because I've been doing this one over here, and, you know, all of a sudden, Lord Death is going, aha! It's like, no, 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 that's not it. <laughs> not even close. So. Anyone over here? Yes. As a kid, I never stopped.